In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Oracle Cloud Free Tier account and then create an autonomous database in the Oracle Free Tier account. So to create the free tier account, you'll go to oracle.com slash cloud. When you get to the site, click on Try Oracle Free Tier. And then start for free. Fill in your information. You will be asked for a credit card, but you will not be charged. Once you create the account, you'll get an email, looks something similar to this, that welcomes you to the Oracle Cloud account. And click on the sign into Oracle Cloud, and this will we'll create our autonomous database. So enter your credentials. When you log in, as you see from the quick actions, you could take on various actions from here. However, I'm going to select our actions from the menu bar on the top left. You see the three lines on the top, sometimes called the hamburger menu. We'll click on that. And there are all kinds of things that you can do in here. I'm going to focus on the autonomous data warehouse. You could also create an autonomous transaction processing. It doesn't make a difference, but we'll go for the autonomous data warehouse. As you can see, I'd already created uh, a couple databases in here and I terminated one. When you get to this menu, yours should be empty if it's the first time you're logging in and click on the create autonomous database. Um, link up here. Give your database a name. I'll call it Azure DB. And uh, that's a display name. And the database name, I'll call it the same. And let's scroll down here and make sure that you click on show only free configuration options. And from here, you don't really have many choices. And when you click the free one, you can only choose this 18C. And the next thing you need to do in here is enter the admin password. Recall what this is because you'll need this to log into the database. If you forget, however, you can reset it. Okay, we can uh, keep this license included, keep all the other defaults and say create, click on the create autonomous database link. Okay, the database is being provisioned right now. I'm going to pause the video until the provisioning is complete. Okay, this took a couple of minutes, but you could see the database is now available. So what I want to show you here is, let's say uh, return back to autonomous database. So I'll click on the autonomous database link. You can see that I have this Azure DB always free database that's available. I'm going to click on it again. And from here, there are various uh, actions that you can take. I'm going to click on the service console just to demonstrate how you can uh, run a web-based SQL developer on here. So you get all kinds of CPU utilization and that kind of information about your database. Nothing has been done on this database yet, so not much to see here. But from this left uh, options, click on development. And uh, eventually I'll show you how to create uh, Oracle Instant Client and other uh, items in here. But for now, let's look at the SQL Developer Web. So click on that. Log into your database. Admin is the user ID and the password that you created. Let's say uh, create a simple table here. We'll just type uh, create table, table one. 
we'll say field one is a var car two length 10 field two var car two length 10 as well again just want to demonstrate a simple table creation i'm not going to make anything fancy here close that off and let's execute this as a script the table is created and if we refresh uh, this view on the left side you notice that here's my table and here are the two attributes and in a later to later slideshow tutorial i'll show you how to connect to this database from sql developer and from uh, sql plus let's uh, go back to the autonomous data warehouse tab and actually let's go even back further i want to show you one more thing here when you go to your autonomous database you have various options here you can click on more actions and at the admin password if you forgot your password you could click on here to reset your password if needed and eventually we'll go to this db connections and download this information that shows us how to connect to the database from our various clients like as i mentioned earlier sql developer and and sql plus that's it for now so you can see it's pretty easy to create a database on the oracle cloud infrastructure